thanks for joining myself. Look, I'm, I'm here in Ipswich. Uh, don't normally come to Ipswich. No, I had, to pick, I had to pick you up from yeah. the station. I, I, I know you did full service, which you didn't get when you went to Germany. So <laughs> no, I didn't. You had to get your own. I, I, I couldn't believe that. Did I, you? No, I, I did I listen to your story last yeah. night. So look, um, at home I was listening to um, John at Sam Fongo's event in Wembley, Midas Property. I love sp- spending time with Sam because nice very man. knowledgeable nice guy. Man. So look, I listened to the nine minutes there, which talked about the. Car sharing, car stacking. Car stacking system, yeah. Yeah, which I, I thought was fairly simple, fairly universal. No. Um, however, I discovered last night it certainly wasn't for this development in Ipswich. No, it wasn't. So what happened was, when the, when the building was originally designed, it was designed with a war, um, that, that's the name of the company in Germany, they've been going since 1919, and it was designed to take their system. They've built 150 in the world, all around the world, but they're the leading people in the field because these car stackers are very complicated. Mm. Um, so you drive in, you get out of the car, it goes on a turnstile, a turntable, it then goes it then goes up into the core of the building, at ten floors, and is slotted in. And if you want your car, if you use your car regularly, the computer system realizes that. So you 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 it parks you further down, and if you only use your car once a week, or in your case hardly ever, Brenda, because you get lifts from people like me. <laughs> Then you, then you get you put at the top, which takes a bit longer to come down. Mm. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't. Yeah. Have, I admit, I didn't realise there was that technology behind oh, it as very, well. Very, very, you know, very clever technology, really clever technology. However, not enough technology to pick you up from the airport to the. No, I'm sorry about that. You still need me for that. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and of course, when we were at the airport, yeah, absolutely. When we were at the airport, and I said to the managing director of the Carters I went with. To, get to try and sort out this major problem at the last minute. So, so the problem was, because this is a fascinating story, yeah. um, and I, I'm amazed how relaxed you are telling the story <laughs> as well. Well, it wasn't quite so relaxed on the No, the, the possibly day. not. Yeah. But literally, so this was for the Ipswich site, which we're in yes. right now, yeah. and in terms of them not going ahead with... Yeah, well, a week before we were about to sign the contract, for the whole, the whole contract... Uh, the 25 million, 26 million contract with the builders, contractors, part of which was included the car stacker. The, we, we were struggling to get contact with war. They kept fobbing us off a bit. Uh, and eventually they came back a week beforehand and said, oh, we decided we haven't got time to do it. We're too busy. We can't build it for you. Which obviously is a bit of a problem because it, it was holding up signing the contract. Mm. So then we managed to go over to Germany and see them almost immediately. But then... On the Monday morning. On the Monday morning. Said. This was on the Thursday. On the Monday, we got over there, but he could only spare an hour and a half because he's off on holiday for three weeks. Which and is the German is, lifestyle. The German lifestyle. But this is a this was a two and a half million euro project. We got to Stuttgart Airport, and their their office is twenty minutes away. And I said to the managing director of Carters, who's the the builder, you know, what time they're picking us up? And they said, well, they're not. We're going to have to get a taxi, which isn't a good start. You'd think. They would pick you up mm. and drive you 20 minutes to their offices. And you, the, the guy who picked you up, or lady, almost got lost. You, oh, uh, the taxi driver ended up going round and round about the wrong way, the English way, not the German way, nearly killed us. So the time we got to the office, we were jibbering wrecks, the pair of us. Um, but, but a not a good start to a meeting. Yeah, the thing which I find really interesting in the video, with, which you did, a Facebook Live, or Sam yeah. did it actually. Yeah, I didn't know that was happening. Um, was literally trying to work in instalments or, or, or yeah. overcoming challenges yeah. part by part. So, yeah, so, so what I always look at, if you've got a big problem, and this, this, this was a massive challenge, this development, mm. uh, because it had stalled, because it sat there for 10 years not being done, so you have to break it down into, into easy bites, if you like. It's about like going up a mountain. You don't go up and look at the mountain when you're walking, I do a bit of walking, and you don't look at the mountain and go, you look and think, well actually sure. I'm going to do it in sections. When so you say you do a bit of walking, we'll come to that maybe okay. in the second video. All right. um, so there will be a, a part two, but, but just, just go on that challenge. So part. if you look at the challenges we had here, the first challenges we had was to be able to buy the property in the first place, which we did. The second challenge was to invest, investigate and I said on, I think last night, that investigating a murder, because you've got no information. When you buy a property off a bank that's gone into a receivership, 
They've, they're not going to give you any information. So we had no plans, we had no structural reports, we had nothing. So we've then got to unravel it, find out who the structural engineer was, get a warranty from them that what's been done has been done correctly. Then we had to, uh, then we had to do the same thing with the architect. Uh, then we had to measure the building to make sure it's been, it's been put in the right position. And you do it with lasers, because if you're slightly out, obviously when you start putting cladding on a building, it can make a huge difference. Mm. So we had to do that. Having done all that, we obviously had to check the concrete, make sure, it, you know, make sure it, the concrete is fine and it's, there isn't a problem, a structural problem with the building because it's been open to the elements for 10 years. So we had to do that. Then we had to try and, so that's the second section. Third section, we then had to try and find funding for it. Now I thought we'd find the funding relatively easily because of our track record and what we've done. We've done a lot of tower blocks over the years. And, so and, and that dates back to the 1980s. In fact. Yeah, 1986 Six. was the first tower block I did which I bought, which was an existing tower block in flats, which we refurbished, and that was in Ipswich. Mm. And from there I went around the country doing a number of them. Um, so, but we've done a lot of other projects, obviously, as, as well, Brendan. But, so the, sec so the, so the, third, the third challenge was to get the funding, which we eventually got off the government. It was the biggest loan they've made to a private company under their scheme at that time. It's okay. now been, I'm super superseded, I'm sure, now. But at the sure. time, it was the biggest one. But of course, then they wouldn't let us, they wouldn't lend us all the money, so we're still £5 million short. So we went to the local enterprise partnership, which again is a government quango, really, sure. to borrow the £5 million from them. So then we had enough money. Then we had to get the contractor lined up um, to do it for the right price, which we did. That's the fourth challenge, because working with contractors is never easy. Whatever, sure. whether, you're, whether you're doing a, a one house that needs refurbishing, and spend, or spending, something this size. And spending time with Evan McDonald right now, yeah. I don't want to say he talks quite a bit about the contractors and the difficulties yeah. with Brexit, but yes. possibly that's been more so. And I think you said in the video last yeah. night, costs have gone up. What did costs you say? Have gone up. Yeah, so what's happened is, um, because uh, the pounds got weak against the euro, euro. 70% of the materials come from Europe, so that has cost us about one, one and a half million pounds. The car stacker, originally when we inquired about the famous car stacker, started at one and a half million euros, it ended up at two and a half million euros, mm. and I told the story last night about that. So that's, a, so that's the next, so we've now got, we've gone from the challenge of buying it, uh, the challenge to make sure before we buy it that everything's okay. Sure. With it and that we can, we can actually finish the project and we can work the figures out, we know it's going to work. We've then gone to the fact of purchasing it, which we, which we did. We've now gone to the fact we've now got to get the funding, which we've now got. We've now got the, we're in, we're the fifth challenge already, which is the contractor, and they are always, always a challenge. Sure. We've got a very good local contractor, regional contractor, okay. to do it. So my next challenge is we've got to have enough money to finish the project, which we have. Sure. Um, we did that by helping, helping that by taking a bit of sting out of the deal by selling 33 Three. off plan. It's not something I like to do normally, but if you're going to sell properties off plan... But that was a request from Homes England. Request from Homes England. Now, when you sell properties off plan, you really must make sure that they only, you, you, you sell them almost individually. Because if one person buys a whole load of them and doesn't complete with you, for whatever reason, because the market's gone down and they're walking away from the deal or whatever, even though they've paid a deposit, sure. you're, being, you're probably in big trouble. But if you have 33 buyers, in this case we have 33 flats, I think we've got 29 buyers, so one or two have bought two, then you know the majority of them will complete. Whereas if you've got two big buyers and one doesn't complete, you could be in trouble. Mm. So that process is happening now, we're just completing those 33. Um, we started a week ago and they all complete with you by the end of the month. So that was, a, that was another challenge. So the next challenge is to get the building completed and that challenge will be completed in December. So the building's gonna be all completed in December. And then the final challenge, the easy one of course, ish, I wish, is to sell them all then. Mm. So we started selling, we're in the show flat now, which I think you, you obviously agree is fabulous. Um, and we are in the process of selling. Now when, it is, when you're selling flats, um, while the development is still happening, it's very difficult. A lot of people will put off uh, developing flats because you really have to get the whole project finished before you can start selling, selling. It because it doesn't look finished. And this is one of our challenges here. We know what we're doing, we've sort of phased it, but of course, it's all going to be finished in December anyway. 
Um, so in time for your book as yes, well? In t- yes, and we'll two f- more books. And yeah. We'll find out more. That's because I only go on holiday for five days at a time. It's not yeah, like time definitely. To do books. Look, part two, I know it's a little bit dark on the screen. I know it's a little bit cloudy, but by the time this place will be finished, it's normally sunny. It sunny. normally looks like Monaco. Monaco. Yeah. So, look, join us for part two of the video. So, we're going to go into the five day holiday. Oh, uh, right, yeah. And, yeah. and a little bit more about John. We, we've covered 1986, but there's a lot more. And I'm not sure how we're going to fit that all into one evening well, as well. We'll have, we'll have to talk quickly. Thank you.